Now that we've captured some data, let's upload our first data sets. Whether you've used the DroneDeploy app or not, you can upload individual images, videos, or process data sets for viewing in DroneDeploy. For example, if you've captured video using your phone, a drone, or another camera, you can upload that video here. Similarly, if you've captured images using your phone, drone, or another camera, you can upload them here and have them appear as pins on your map. They don't just have to be drone data. You can either upload these images directly from your mobile device using the Drone Deploy app or here within the Drone Deploy cloud portal. Once you've completed a flight in Drone Deploy, you'll see a card appear in the upload module of your project. Since we've just completed a mapping flight, I can select this card to upload my images. Processing models with Drone Deploy is extremely simple. We'll start off by dragging in the images we would like to process, and we'll do some initial image checks. You'll see a little blue dot appear for every image you've selected to ensure you've selected images of the proper area. Be sure to give your map a unique name as well so you can easily identify it later. If you need to add additional images or remove images for quality assurance, you can always do that within this navigation. We can even crop this map to identify the area we're interested in so that we can create a clean 2D map and 3D model. When you're ready, just hit upload. And that's all there is to it. Your map has been queued up for processing and we'll send you an email once it's ready for you to view.